Our weather headlines though, we do have storms in the forecast today. Most of them will take place inland, but we could see some storms along the coast, especially during the evening hours and some heavy rainfall could be in the mix. Then it gets a little cooler overnight tonight with light winds and less moisture around as some dry air moves in and actually that dry air will be moving in and out of the forecast over the next seven days. I want to start with winds quickly here because I want to show you two things. One winds at the surface are very, very light. There's hardly any wind around right now. And even upper level winds are very, very light coming in out of the north. These are called the steering winds. They are the winds way up above the surface and they help to steer showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon. So today showers and storms will be moving from north to south. It's kind of an unusual direction. Usually we expect east to west. We've got some high pressure over here and that's going to help redirect those upper level winds and steer showers and storms from north to south. You can already see it happening with the rainfall that's out there right now moving from north to south, just like that. And we've had a few showers around. In fact, we got a little rainfall down in Palm Beach County. This headed down around Palm Springs. There's some uh, rainfall west of West Palm Beach here out by the turnpike that's pretty heavy showing up on the radar in just the past few minutes. Big thunderstorm over near the Bahamas. Treasure Coast remains quiet right now. But when we look at future track, and especially as we get to four, five, six o'clock this afternoon, we'll see things start to bubble up and a few storms could be strong, starting mainly along the sea breeze, which is far farther inland, but as we get to the evening hours, some of that rainfall and even a few strong storms could spread back toward the coast. So we'll be keeping our eyes on that even after six, seven, eight o'clock tonight, and then things quiet down overnight. The biggest impacts will be heavy rainfall and the chance for some gusty winds could see a little localized flooding because of light winds. The storms will be moving very slowly, so that's heavy rainfall in the same areas over an extended period of time. Now there is a bunch of dry air right here in Brown that's just off to our east that will move in tomorrow and really lower our rain chances. We'll go from about a 40% chance for rain today to almost 10% tomorrow, if that. 20% again on Thursday, 20% again on Friday. Temperatures right now are in the upper 80s and low 90s. Obviously, it feels hotter than that with the heat and humidity combined. In fact, it feels like triple digits along the Treasure Coast and inland. Upper 90s, though, in Palm City and Hope Sound feels like 100 degrees in West Palm, feels like 98 in Delray and Boca. Tropics are nice and quiet right now, so we're looking good. East southeasterly winds today, 5 to 10 knots, and seas only about 1 to 2 feet. So that 40 to 50% chance for rain mainly inland this afternoon, then spreading to the east coast later. Tomorrow drier with cool overnight low temperatures tonight into tomorrow morning, mid to low 70s, and then rain chances come back as we move through the rest of the week and into the weekend.